They fought together, died together, band of brothers to the end. That's what Lodgy's all about, eh? Watching each other's back, no matter what. Yeah, um, I've been thinking. That sounds dangerous. And I've decided that, you know, I, I ain't gonna do it. I'm, yeah, I, I'm out. What? How am I gonna find a mouth at this late stage? We're talking about mouth. You, make the mouth. <laughs> Your job is to sweet talk us out of any trouble. We said there weren't gonna be any trouble. Well, you can never be certain. Now you're gonna banjax everything and turn your back on your mates. Yeah, well, this ain't war, is it? I ain't life and death. Are you sure about that? I'm gonna forget you ever mentioned that. Yeah, I'll take this with you and all. Hey. You know what? What, right, Bill, yeah. Uh, yeah, just uh, our friend here, he's had a bit of bad news, but. Uh, oh, my. Yeah, I think he wants to be left alone, Bill. Has he lost someone, eh? Yeah, in a manner of speaking. But... Billy Mitchell, partner. He's, uh, his first few days here, uh, never easy, you know, but when the time is right, professional help can ease stress in the most difficult situations. At Coker and Mitchell's, there's no pressure, <laughs> there's no hardship. <laughs> well, Mitchell, you're not related to my old pal Phil by any chance, are you? Yeah, yeah, he's my cousin as he goes. Yeah. Anyway, my office is just up there on the left if, if you ever need to talk. You know? yeah, you've certainly got the gift of the gab. <laughs> This might come in useful soon. Yeah, well, like I say. Thanks. Yeah. Go and find yourself another mouth. I'm sure you're going to get one. If you should ever breathe a word of our plan, your darling missus might just be making a call to our new friend, the Undertaker. You listen to me, you old mug. This is my manner. Don't come round here playing the big man. Who's playing? You leave me and my family alone. I don't care who you are. I'll stick your little cane right up your bottle. 